three hours over there is Donington Park. This weekend, it's the World Superbike Championships there. We're not there. This is Aberdare Park. It is a park, but it is nothing, nothing like the World Superbikes at Donington. And I think it's about 10 times better because of it. Welcome to proper Welsh grassroots road racing. So what are we doing here? Well, last year we had our first crack at road racing. That's a course that isn't full of gravel traps, a course with consequences in the same classification as the Isle of Man, but very much, very much not the Isle of Man and the TT track. It poured it down with rain all weekend and we had an absolute blast. And to be honest, I was hooked. So we've come back this year for another go. And in true bike world fashion, we've <laughs> spread ourselves thin and tried to do everything it's possible to do. So this year we're going to be racing in three different classes. First up, it's the Honda NC30 we raced last year. That's in the lightweight class against other 400s and a few 250s. Secondly, we've got the little Aprilia Freetech 125 street stock bike. So there's a 125 Learn Illegal four stroke with some race fairings and sticky tires and a very, very slow moving, but lots and lots of action type racing. And finally, the centerpiece of this year's racing. It's the Gas Gas SM700. This thing I rode at the launch earlier this year. Even on the launch, I kind of had inklings that it would make a pretty fun race bike. And Aberdare Park seems like the perfect place to try it out. This thing arrived as a road bike on Friday night. We ripped the number plates off, got it through scrutineering, and time to see how it fares against some proper racing machinery. It's gonna be in the Sound of Thunder class, which this year is mostly populated by super twin type machines from the TT. So what makes Aberdare Park different from any other road race? Well, a handful of things. It's in a Victorian park. It's not park as in a big, beautiful place with a racetrack. It's a little country park. There's a duck pond in the middle of it. There are swings for the kids to play on. There's some lovely toilets and fountains. There's pedalos. It is absolutely not your normal Cadwell Park, Donington Park type racetrack. This place, the rest of the year, is somewhere that kids come and play, people walk their dogs, and you come to get sunburnt on a hot summer's day. Just so happens that on this hot summer's day, there's hundreds of motorbikes going absolutely flat out between the trees and the hedges. So riding three bikes is a big challenge and having to keep them all running, I, I just couldn't do it on my own. So I've got the entire Northover clan here with me, dad, Clive, and my brother all working on the bikes. And then there's Nan, the kids, the wives, the partners. And if you look around the paddock, everyone else doing the same thing. This is a family racing event. There's no BSB contract on the line here. There's no world championship. This is about riding around in circles and putting a big smile on your face. This is proper road racing. So we're, uh, we're picking our grid positions out of, a, <laughs> out of a ballot. Bag of notes over there and we just grab a grid and hope for the best. I got one. <laughs> 13. We are done. We are done for day one. It has been a 
blooming great days racing. I am absolutely buzzing. We kind of pushed ourselves a little bit this year. We've raced in three different classes. So we've got the little Honda NC30 we raced last year. We've got the Aprilia 4-stroke 125. And of course, kind of the star of the show, the big Gas Gas. I don't think I expected it to do as well as it did. So the class the Gas Gas is in is against the Sound of Thunder bikes, which is super twins, tuned up twin cylinder bikes that race at the TT quite often, CB500s, mini twins, a bunch of bikes like that. There is some really trick kit in there, really expensive machinery. And I'm on a 9,300 quid road bike that we literally took the number plate off this morning. So I came third in my qualifying, third in my first heat, and then for the final, I made the final event for Sound of Thunder. So they mixed all the races together, eighth on the grid, and I think I finished eighth as well. So to be honest, delighted, because that's a grid of properly fast bikes, and I can go and ride that thing to the chip shop for tea now. So the gas gas has been blinding. The other two bikes I've had an absolute blast on, really, really chuffed to bits, and for me, the best bit has been winning two races on my Honda. Actually getting stuck into Aberdare this year, not just surviving the rain, but pushing, dicing, overtaking. I'm hoarse from shouting into my helmet all day. I am baked, boiling hot and absolutely buzzing. I'm knackered, can't wait to get back out on it tomorrow. What a day. We are all wrapped up for Aberdare Park Road Races. Final couple of feature races of the day just running now. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to pack the van and head home, but I think I'm gonna sit in the sunshine and drink beer for a few hours first because I am absolutely beat and absolutely on a high. It has been an incredible couple of days. So the bikes we've been racing, we'll start the furthest away. We'll start with the little Honda. That's the right bike I rode here last year. It's been a wonderful little thing. It's a bog stock Honda NC30. I bought it off eBay last year for the race and I've washed it since then. I've washed it and prepped it. It's not really had any mods. It's got a aftermarket end can, an airbox mod and a little bit of sort of basic suspension adjustment, but it's a very basic bike. But that chassis, oh, it's so rideable. You can push it so hard around here and it has been an absolute joy to ride. For me, it was like a, a boyhood dream to race a Honda V4. To race a Honda V4, it's something I've always wanted to do. This weekend, unfortunately, I won four races on it out of four attempts. And that is a really magical feeling for me to get those wins on a Honda V4, on a bike that I adore and I prep myself. I'll be a happy Chris for months to come based on that. It's really made my weekend. Next up, we've got the little Aprilia Freetech bike. So there's a Freetech endurance racing series. Our mates over at 44 Teeth have done some epic videos on that. Properly bonkers stupid racing on go-kart tracks with learn illegal four stroke 125s there's actually a class here for them and you're in with the 80 cc and the, the the little lightweight slow bike race the little aprilia in that and again had an absolute blast you've got time going up the straights to look at the rider next to you and give him a thumbs up or poke him in the ribs as you go in it it's a bit surreal racing at such slow speed but the cornering is absolutely committed. You have to push so hard in the turns. Finally, the big red gas gas. This thing has been a person magnet all day long. The paddock, it's been surrounded by people wanting to have a look at it and ask questions. On track, everyone's loving it. Everyone's waving and applauding. It's a great big daft red supermoto that loves doing wheelies. Turns out it's a pretty good race bike too. I managed to get third in the heat race against half the grid. And then in the finals, I got an eighth yesterday and a fifth or sixth today. I know today in the second race I was one less place than I should have been because I might have slowed down to do a wheelie over the line in the last lap and like an idiot got passed on the line so oh should know better than that. So finally all that remains is for me to give a massive thank you to everyone that's helped make this happen from the sponsors at Bike World, City, Spiddy, Showy, Gas Gas for giving us a bike to go and race. They're very brave of them. I'm impressed. Dunlop for tyres, EBC for brakes and of course RNG Racing Products who have kept both the Aprilia and the NC30 in protection that luckily we didn't need this weekend. So thankfully we didn't have to test the products this time, but it's important stuff to have on there. 
If you haven't checked out Aberdare Park Road Races, do yourself a favour, get it in the calendar for next year, come and have a watch. It is completely brilliant. It is a proper grassroots road race set in a little Welsh town. More than that, it's mental. There's motorbikes racing around a Victorian park. It's been happening since the 1950s. John Surtees raced here. I believe Halewood raced here. Ian Locker, some absolute greats over the year. There's always some really fast local heroes. And what a thing. Come down, have a watch. I promise you'll have a good weekend. You will never get closer to race bikes in the UK than standing here.